I feel more beautiful in this than a lot of my high-end products. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I genuinely just wanted to play with drugstore makeup. I've received a few new products in PR recently that I really wanted to try out. So it's not gonna be a full face of new drugstore makeup, um, but it is going to be a full face of drugstore makeup. I'll be sure to tell you what's new to me and what is something that's one of my old favorite products. But I felt like it would be really fun to just create a look that I felt really good in using some of these new things. Obviously, I'll give you my opinions on the new things as I try them, but I genuinely just wanted to get glam with some affordable products today. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Let me pin my hair back really quick. I don't know if you guys are like I have been recently, but I feel like when we were approaching the holidays, I was like, please, let's just get the holidays happening. I just really wanted, you know, all of this stuff to happen to just close out the year. But now that it's happening, I feel like I don't have enough time to get stuff done. So I don't know why, but it's just been such a strange holiday season too for me. Obviously I love the holidays. It's been really fun to Christmas shop and like set up all my decorations, but I feel like this month is going by way too fast. I don't know. Are you guys feeling the same kind of way? You should let me know in the comments. So that's kind of why I wanted to sit down and just like take a break from the holiday busyness and just sit and do my makeup using affordable products, you know? So I hope you guys are excited. We all could use a little bit of a break right now, I feel. So hopefully this video gives you all permission to just press pause on your busy day and just enjoy a little makeup tutorial. So I actually took my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm priming my eyes the old school way. I haven't done it like this in so long, but I'm basically just taking that concealer and buffing it all over the eyelid, all the way up to the brows. And I actually like to take it in between the brows as well, since usually I have a little extra on the brush. So I basically just try to conceal this whole top area. I'm just gonna take my sponge and press that concealer into the eyelid. Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. What's this called again? The Halo Glow Setting Powder. I was going through some of my old like powders, drugstore powders, and I forgot how much I love this one. So I wanted to use it again. This was one of my go-to powders for a couple of months this year. So I wanted to reach for it. So I'm just gonna set that concealer with this powder just to make it so that we have a nice powdery surface to blend eyeshadows on top of. By the way, I did my brows already off camera. I used my Benefit Precise in my brow pencil. I know it's not drugstore, but feel free to substitute that with a drugstore pencil if you're following along. ColourPop, you guys know, always launches new collections. So honestly, this is like an older collection based off of how many collections have launched since, but I wanted to try it out. This is their Boudoir Noir palette. I loved the tones in here. They came out with another palette that was more berry toned, but I went on their website and it's sold out currently. But what's not sold out is this palette in a bundle with a blush and a luxe lip oil. So I decided to use the products that were in stock just because I wanted to make sure if any of you guys, you know, wanted to pick up anything that it would be available. So hopefully they're all still available by the time I post this video. But let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Melt. I'm just gonna take that and apply it in the crease a little bit above as my transition shade. By the way, thank you guys so much for all the love on the gift guide that I did with my husband. It was so much fun to have him back on my channel and he had a lot of good gift ideas in my opinion. If you didn't see that video, I will have it linked down below and hopefully, you know, it helps one of you or a few of you if you are looking for good gift ideas. So yeah, I'll have that link down below. All right, let's see. I definitely feel like I wanna try this green shade. It's definitely the shade that caught my eye first. Out of the palette, this is called Late Text and it's a beautiful kind of olive green. So I'm just gonna start to build this on the outer corner and I'm gonna bring it into the crease a little bit as well. But I'm just gonna start to build up a little bit of definition with this shade. Doing the same thing on the other eye, just kind of building up the intensity until both eyes match. I'm kind of using circular motions out on the edge to kind of buff and blend toward the end of my brow. I think that's such a unique shade, I really like it. Okay, we're gonna deepen things up a little with the shade right underneath called Hot Toddy. So we've basically just gone down this last row. This is a brown, but it kind of has an olive undertone, I think. I'm just gonna start to kind of build up the intensity along the top lashes at a diagonal. Same thing on this eye. And then once there's a little less on the brush, I'm just gonna kind of connect that onto the outer portion of the crease in like a V shape. I'm just dragging that 
through the crease a little bit further in to kind of create a graphic shape. Then I'm gonna go back in with the brush we used with the green shade, and I'm just gonna buff over that slightly so that we have that shape, but I want it to be a little softer. So I'm just literally taking what's left on that brush and buffing it out. You know what? I'm kind of wanting to keep this graphic 60s like shape. So I'm actually gonna take the lightest shimmer shade in the palette called Good Night. And I'm basically gonna take this shade and fill in the sparse areas on the eyelid. So basically anywhere that we have not yet applied eyeshadow. Same thing over on this eye, just working in light layers and kind of pressing this onto the eye first, then sweeping it with a flat brush to kind of keep that sharp edge. And I'm kind of looking back and forth at my eyelids to make sure that they're as even as possible. They might not be like perfectly even, but it helps to try. I'm taking the brush with that green shadow left on it. Again, I haven't dipped back into the palette, but just wanting to kind of make sure that all the edges in the crease still have enough definition. So now I definitely wanna try out Bedtime Story, which is a really beautiful pressed glitter shade. It kinda of has like a yellow undertone, but there's also a bit of an iridescence. It's almost like a blue shift to it. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer this right on top of where we just applied that light shimmer shade. I'm just gonna gently press this onto the eyelid. I think that looks so pretty, wow. Same thing over on this eye. Just kind of gently pressing it on that light shimmer shade just to further intensify that dimension and make the eyelid pop. Sorry, I'm out of focus while I'm doing this, but that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love how fine the glitter reflex are. It's seriously mesmerizing. I really love that glitter. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do mascara first, actually. I'm just gonna use a mascara that I'm very familiar with. It's one of my favorites, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I'm going to layer this up on the top lashes and then we will move on to complexion. All right, so top lash mascara is on. I'm just gonna take my makeup wipe and clean up any fallout. And then you guys know I usually like to just take my finger and press the edges so it's not too harsh, but so we still keep that defined shape. All right, we're gonna move into complexion. I'm gonna be using my Believe Beauty Radiantly Primed Face Primer. I love this stuff for days when I want, um, obviously, a pretty glowy base, but I don't want it to feel or look greasy on the skin. This dries down so beautifully, and you'll see, like, it really does give a nice glow. It's not sparkly at all but it gives you like this lit from within kind of a skin look. And I do feel like it helps my foundations last longer. I really like the texture and consistency of this product. It's so nice. Um, I'm gonna be using my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I actually mix two shades. I mix the shade Fair 25W with Light 40N. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And one pump of each, or like a half a pump of each, literally makes the perfect shade for me. I do have a shade that matches me, which I always make sure to write down below if you don't wanna mix two foundation shades. But they sent me these two, and since they work so well combined, I just figure that I will get use out of these two before purchasing a full bottle of the shade that matches me on its own, if that makes sense. So I'm just taking this on a foundation brush and applying it all over the skin. I am obsessed with this foundation. It's so insanely beautiful and I feel like it gives just the right amount of coverage. It wears so well on me. I just, I have nothing bad to say about this foundation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take what's left on the back of my hand with my sponge and I'm gonna use that to press in the foundation all over the rest of the complexion. I also forgot to mention I prepped my lips before filming with the Pixi Collagen Lip Gloss. This has been my go-to lip balm before makeup. It just sits right here on my desk and it's like the first thing that I apply before doing my makeup so that by the time I get to the lips, my lips are nice and hydrated. I've been really, really liking it. All right, so foundation is on. I'm gonna go back into my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Just gonna apply this under the eyes. And I think I'm just gonna leave it under the eyes because I feel like I got enough coverage with the foundation over blemishes. And yeah, I just don't wanna overdo the concealer in the T-zone today. I kinda just wanna keep it a little more fresh, even though we are doing like a full face of makeup. So I'm just blending that out with my concealer brush. And then I'm gonna take that same sponge and just press that into the skin under the eye. 
All right, we're gonna go back into my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I love this because it's got the perfect balance between an original translucent setting powder formula with that hint of glow, almost like a finishing powder, but not quite as much. So I feel like you're able to really layer this up and your face won't look satin, but it also won't look flat. It's just the perfect amount of a lit from within glow that it creates. So I'm just gonna use this to set the entire face. Okay, so now that that is on the skin, I always like to go in with my sponge after using a setting powder because I like to set my whole face usually. That's just how I feel like my makeup lasts the longest. So I like to take my sponge after using powder and just gently go over everything so that you get rid of that top layer of powderiness and it just kind of locks in the makeup even more. But everything still feels set because I'm not pressing the sponge in too intensely. It's just literally lightly pressing over to pick up that excess powder on the top. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up my waterline with my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I really don't think that they make this anymore, but any sort of eye brightening pencil will do. All right, we're hopping back into this palette. I'm gonna first dip into Late Text, which is that green shade. I'm gonna tap off the excess, and I'm gonna use this to start defining that lower lash line right up against the lashes on the outer third, blending it into the existing shadows on the top lid. Same thing over here. Then I'm gonna flip over the brush and I'm just gonna dip into the shade Goodnight. I'm gonna tap off the excess here too. And I'm gonna use that right in the inner third, kind of blending it across about halfway just to match what we have going on on the top lid. I don't think I want much more than that on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna take my powder brush that I used under the eye and I'm just gonna sweep away any fallout. And then I'm gonna go back in with if I can find it. Here it is, my um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that mascara to the lower lashes. I really like how the eye look turned out. I feel like it's a little more simple than other eye looks I might have done using that palette, but it's still really special and really glam, which I love. I think it's a nice balance. Um, recently, number seven sent me their bronzer. This is the number seven bronzer in the shade Caramel, and I wanted to try it out today, so we're going to. I don't really know how pigmented it's gonna be. Oh, might be too pigmented for me. So I'll just use a lighter hand and kind of start pressing this onto the outer portions of the complexion just to warm things up a little bit. Okay, so it's definitely pretty pigmented, but I feel like when I use a light hand, it works really well and it seems to be blending nicely too. I tend to be heavy handed with bronzer, so I'm gonna try not to go too far overboard. I think that's about where I want the bronzer. I'm just gonna take some of what's left on the brush and just drag that down the neck and along the jawline. All right, for blush, I wanted to use the ColourPop blush that's part of that um, set with the eyeshadow palette. It's the shade Love Story. It's a pressed powder blush. Looks really pretty to me. Look at this color. I think it's gonna be perfect with the eye look I created. So I'm just gonna dip my brush into this and just smile and then apply it to the apples of the cheeks. Wow, that's a really nice color. Okay, something else I was recently sent is this Hello Halo blush lighter from Wet n Wild. So I wanted to try it out and I feel like this color will match this look perfectly. Um, this is the shade I Met Someone. So I'm gonna kind of mix them. I'm gonna kind of go into both. I'm actually just using that same blush brush we were using for the actual blush. And I'm going to apply this a little bit higher onto the cheeks for a little glow. We'll go down the nose a little as well. I think that's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and just press everything into the skin to make sure there's no harsh edges. Pretty, okay. ColourPop also recently sent me one of their holiday sets of lippy pencils, which I was so excited about because I only own like two of these. So I thought I would pick one out for this look. Maybe I'll use the shade BFF. Have I ever used that? I don't know, I don't think I have. I'm kind of swatching them to get a feel for some of my options. This one's beautiful as well. This one is called Oh Snap. Hmm, let's try BFF first. I'm just gonna kind of press off the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the lip balm on my lips and then I'm gonna line the lips with the shade BFF. That shade is so pretty. And honestly, one of the main things that made me want to film this video, trying out new drugstore stuff, is this right here. Wet n Wild sent me a huge PR box of their new lipsticks. So they have Mega Last High Shine lipsticks, and then also a layer underneath. It's not focusing, but hopefully you get the idea. Oh, there it is. And these are the um, Mega Last Matte lipsticks. So which one do we use? 
Let's see. I'm going to choose one of each and then we'll pick what I feel like will match best once I open these up. Okay, so first we have this shade right here. This is beautiful. This is called Close Off and it's in the High Shine formula. Then I chose one in the matte formula as well, which is also a really pretty shade, but this is going to be matte. So let me see which one I feel like would match better. I definitely feel like this is a closer match to the lip liner, but I'm also going to be using a lip oil on top. So... Hmm, I still feel like this one's gonna match better, so I'm gonna go with it anyway, even though it does have a shinier finish. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. I'm just gonna do a little, since I do want to wear gloss still, or that lip oil on top. That actually pairs perfectly with that ColourPop BFF lip liner. Hmm, it's very lightweight on the lips, it feels nice. I like the shine that that gives. You could definitely just leave the lips at this if you're following along. But I do want to apply a little bit of this ColourPop Luxe lip oil in the shade First Date. Now this is a little bit more warmth to it, so maybe it will warm up the lips a little. I'm just gonna layer this right on top. All right, let's step back and assess the situation. I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and kind of just add a little bit of what's left back over everything just to make sure everything's as warmed up as I want it to be. I want a little more um, blush from ColourPop. This has a little bit of a sheen to it. I'm gonna switch back to a different blush brush. Since I use the same blush brush for that highlighter, I'm just gonna add a little more to the cheeks. And then I was recently sent this from Honest Beauty. It's the Calm and Go Face Mist. I think this is more of like a skincare product for underneath makeup, but I'm gonna try it on top of the complexion today. So I'm just gonna set the face with this. The mist is so fine on it, that's so nice let that kind of dry down. And as always, I like to take my sponge and just kind of press everything back into the skin just to make sure there's no powdery finish anywhere. I'm going to apply my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter to the brows to lock them in place. And then I'll take my hair down. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. This is exactly what I was hoping to achieve with some of these new products. I just wanted to feel good in some affordable makeup. I love the reminder when I create looks like this that feeling good in makeup does not have to be expensive, which is something that I've always loved about drugstore makeup and affordable makeup. I honestly feel beautiful. I feel more beautiful in this than a lot of my high-end products. And that was exactly what I was hoping for, especially since I tested out so many new products today. I love how my eyes turned out. I thought the complexion looked beautiful too. That bronzer was really nice. I do feel like I needed to be more careful because it was more pigmented, but I like the amount of glow that it gave to my skin without being too overboard. The ColourPop blush is beautiful as well. The blush lighter from Wet n Wild, at first I was like, eh, I feel like I went overboard, which honestly I feel like I I could have gone a little less heavy-handed with it because some texture is being emphasized here, but the overall effect that it gives to my cheeks is worth it. So I feel like I'm gonna reach for that again, but I will definitely be more careful with how much I apply because I do feel like you can go overboard with that highlighter, just like the other Wet n Wild highlighters if you're familiar with their formula. And then let's talk about this lip combo. I feel so beautiful in this lip combo. I feel like it looks very expensive and very high-end and it feels very expensive, honestly, but it's not, which is the best part. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of random as far as me selecting random drugstore products to use, but hopefully it was able to give you guys a little bit of an escape from the busyness these days. If you guys have any products that you're loving right now from the drugstore, I would love to know in the comments below. Again, I'm always trying to find new things that are affordable that make you feel amazing, so feel free to share in the comments. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe, and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I truly hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this makeup look, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.